So you think you missed the comet? Think twice. Comet C 2025 A5 Lemon, the beautiful green visitor, is still visible in our skies right now. Whether you're in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere, there is still a chance to catch it before it fades away. In this video, I'll show you when and where to look, what you'll see, and how to photograph it step by step, so you don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Lemon makes its closest approach to Earth in late October and will reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, on November 8. Right now, it is still glowing around magnitude 4 to 5, which means that you can spot it with binoculars, and if you're lucky enough to be under a dark sky, you might be able to see it with the naked eye. For those in the Northern Hemisphere, this is your best viewing window. You can see and photograph the comet just after sunset between October 25th and early November. Where to look? Well, face west-southwest right after twilight starts to fade. The comet is moving through the constellations of Botes and Serpents, low on the horizon, about 15-20 degrees above it. What to expect? Well, you'll see a soft greenish glow with a faint tail pointing away from the sun. Look for something that looks like more like a fuzzy star than a sharp point. Tip, if you're under a dark sky, you might still glimpse it with the naked eye between now and the beginning of November, the first week of November. After that, it will slowly sink and fade, so time is now. Southern Hemisphere photo pillars, your turn is coming. Around mid-November, Lemon finally dips south enough to appear in your evening skies. If you're in Australia, Chile, Argentina, South Africa or New Zealand, you'll be able to see and photograph the comet from November 15th onwards. Where to look? Well, you'll find it after sunset, around 20 to 40 minutes into twilight, low in the western sky. Expect it around a magnitude between 4.5 and 5.5, still bright enough to see with binoculars, and maybe if you're in the dark sky, you'll be able to see it with the naked eye. But watch out for city lights and haze near the horizon. Find the dark sky or a countryside spot with a clear view in the west. If you can see it with your eyes, try to photograph it. Your camera can see much better than you. You'll capture it. Okay, and talking about how to photograph the comet, use a medium or a telephoto lens between 70 to 150 millimeters if you're shooting a static, not tracking. You can use up to 500 millimeters if you're tracking with a star tracker. Use the manual mode, a wide aperture between 2.8 and f4, and ISO between 3200 and 6400. If you're not tracking, you can always use the spotter task calculator in PhotoPills to figure out the maximum exposure time you can use to keep the stars as points and not trails. If you're tracking, of course, you'll be able to shoot much longer exposures. Now, focus. Focus on a star. Find the bright star on your live view of your camera, zoom on the star, and turn the focus ring until the star looks like a super small dot. The smallest, the better. Now, set the white balance to manual and around 3500 Kelvin. Frame your shot, take a few test shots, check the histogram, and shoot. Okay, to sum up. By late November, the comet will begin to fade, dropping low magnitude 6 and disappearing in the evening twilight. So this is your last chance to witness Comet Lemon before it vanishes for thousands of years. Remember, in the Northern Hemisphere, the best visibility is from now till early November, and in the Southern Hemisphere, the best visibility times is from mid-November to late November. Always look just after sunset in the western skies. And bring binoculars and your camera. They make all the difference. So, if you thought you missed the comet, think twice. It's still out there, glowing faintly in the sky, waiting for you to go and enjoy it and capture it. And if you manage to photograph it, please tag photo bills and we'll share the photos. I can't wait to see them. Now, if you wish to learn how to plan and photograph the comet, I invite you to download and study well our super detailed astronomical events photography guide. I'm going to leave a link to the guide in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Download it. And as always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot. Legendary photos. Bye.